for joining us. Um, today we are going to be honoring law enforcement Chuck Chen for his service. And um, my name is Yvonne Wan. I'm the creator of Focus Comics. Hi, my name is Kayla. I am RJ. I'm Vanessa. Dabalon. Jade. Hi, my name is Chuck Chen. Um, I work for the Gilbert, uh, Arizona Police Department. I myself work in the uh, records area. Um, our department provides the police reports to the public. We do the body cam footage that the officers do take when they make any type of stop with the citizens. Um, there are photos that are taken at any type of crime scene, traffic accident, um, any type of incident. Um, we have a communication center, otherwise known as uh, the 911 dispatch center. So we're basically to, here to support the public, help the community stay safe, and um, you know, bring the bad guys in. When a fingerprint is taken, it's rolled from like right to left. Each of us have a very unique set of fingerprints. Not one fingerprint is identical in the world. Anytime anyone is brought into custody, um, um, you're going to be designated a mugshot. They're going to stand you up against this board. Uh, the numbers on the board indicate the inches and in height, so we can get an exact height of the person. So you typically take the front shot, the left mm -hmm. side profile, and then the right side right. profile. Do you take the back shot or you just don't bother with that? We don't bother with the back. It's typically just the front and either side. This is the front part of the actual office, uh, our records department. What is the um, hardest part of doing your job? Like what task is like the most tedious or difficult? Well, for me specifically, the hardest part is to see and read uh, any type of child crimes. As a father, it's it's very hard to read. I wanted to know how long does it take to complete each report? Well, they range anywhere from 10 pages to probably 750. We have to be very careful to black out or what the term we use is redact. Um, any personal information, your address, um, where you live, birth dates, phone numbers, driver's license, any personal information that the general public. And what kinds of dogs are at the police station? Well, all of our canine unit dogs are German Shepherds. How often does your department, the records department, directly interact with um, the police officers? We have a window designated for the inside of the police department. Um, the officers, of course, are given priority. What's the most dangerous crime you saw? Murders and uh, unsolved crimes are typically really are the hardest to, to read and hear about. To work for this department or work for police in general, you have to, you know, have to have a, you know, a strong stomach and um, because those images, um, they're hard to get rid of. They're hard to get rid of those images. They're hard to leave your mind and it, it's hard. And a lot of people, it causes anxiety. Uh, PTSD is a term I'm sure all of you have heard, um, but that's, those are the reasons. They, you know, child crimes, um, fatalities, accidents, um, people who lose their lives unnecessarily, um, those are those are hard to read and, and to see. So, so how common is PTSD within law enforcement? Is it higher than other occupations? Um, I, I would say it's it's pretty up there. It's pretty high. We've gotten to the point where we're offered, we have counseling services within our department, strictly for officers. Um, it's, you know, they're confidential, but you are uh, able to go and visit any individuals at any time that you are experiencing any type of PTSD. Um, no matter how long you need it, it, it's it's hard. It's it's a hard job. It's it's really taxing. Um, you know, especially we have as an example in our investigations department, we have detectives that look at uh, sexual crimes. They have you know financial crimes. They have domestic violence are really hard. Um, you know, it's domestic violence is really rampant and high in our city as well. So it's, you know, you have to go out and have calls and talks to, you know, young ladies and, and men sometimes that, you know, have been physically assaulted, have been choked, um, you know, the bruising on the neck and things like that. It's, it's very hard and um, it can be taxing on you it, to hear that and to see that and to hear someone's story and to be visibly in person with that person and see the hurt um, and the injuries it's it can be um, it can be hard to to absorb 
what do you like about your job? I hate it actually. It's terrible. I'm, I'm just kidding. Um, it, it's, it's very rewarding. Um, I, it was something, and I didn't expect to be in this department. Um, I started in dispatch being a 911 operator and, um, I've gotten made my way down there. So I like being behind the scenes. It's, it's kind of like a, like a detective. You're, there's pieces that you read that you try to put together. You kind of can tell a story about someone. Um, you try to be it. The rewarding part for me is that people of the public that come to the window and are appreciative of your work. Um, past three or four years, law enforcement's gotten a lot of, you know, bad publicity. Um, it's nice to have someone come to the window and acknowledge that they appreciate what you're doing, that they stand behind you. And that's probably the biggest part for me. Um, I often like to come out from behind the window and I'll talk to the the public in the lobby. Um, I like the one-to-one -one, you know, interaction. So that's probably the best part for me. Um, How many years have you been working uh, for the police? I have worked there almost six years right now. Do you like to drive really fast? I do like to drive really fast. You have to be but really it's safe. it's against the law. Yes, it is. But if I have a police car, you can turn on the sirens and lights, and then people know that it's okay to drive fast. Only those cars, though. Do you like donuts? I love donuts. Um, my dad standing in the in the corner, and I have Focus sitting at the records desk. I drew the records bracket. I I drew Focus. I drew Chuck and Focus at the at jail, like at the jail thing. I do focus and Chuck, uh, the police officer. It's his work desk that I've drawn. I drew focus holding a whole bunch of paperwork for my dad to fill out. Again, excellent work. I, I'm I'm proud of what these kids do every day. It's it's a new adventure, and I'm impressed on a daily basis on what they come up with. So, very good work, Jay. Very good. Thank, Thank you for your service. service. Bye. 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 Bye.